What up, what up, what up? Mr. Harris, Mr. Joshua Harris, back with another one. Check out my website, joshuaharris.info. I appreciate you tuning in. Quick video, quick video. No one has come to save you black men. No one has come to save you black women. Even more so black men than black women. Why do I have this conversation right now? Well, I had a conversation with a past client or past somebody I sold their house and they ended up calling me, asking me about property in South Carolina. And let me tell you real quick, she called me asking me about property in South Carolina. She says that she has, she, her, her grandfather uh, had basically passed down 10, acre, 10 acres of land in South Carolina and somebody's trying to sell, get her to sell it for $10,000. I told her, do not sell that land at all. No matter what, don't sell the land. $10,000. You want to sell that for $10,000? I'll give you twelve dollars all cash right now. 10 acres of land? Get the hell out of here. But anyway, I brought that up because I got close with the family, as I usually do when I sell people's homes and stuff like that. And uh, the young man, I won't say his name and stuff like that, the young man, um, two years ago at 23... Uh, he's 25 now, but two years ago at 23, he had a he had a child, he had a son, and I remembered my, I remembered myself at 23, just having my daughter, and I didn't know what I what I didn't know at that time, and so you know I had to learn the hard way with certain things of how just life happens in terms of the courts, women, and your children. Your ch your children is not your own, your child is not your own. And I know he's going through a situation right now, which I won't speak on in anything of that sort. Where, you know, he's a young man and he's trying to figure it out. And I'm actually gonna give him a call. I haven't spoken to him in years and I still think about him and the family and stuff like that, but I haven't spoken to him in years. And I'm gonna reach out to him because I wanna to talk to him and try to help get him on the right path to be productive, more get to a better level, a higher level in life and stuff. And it just made me think about myself and made me think about life and made me think about how many men are out here in situations where they're about to have a child, they're about to get married, they're about to be put in, they're about to place themselves into a position that they are not ready for. They have no idea what's coming. And at the end of the day, we all have to be personally responsible for the decisions we make in choosing to go down in that road. I mean, if you, you lay up with a woman, you impregnate her, these are the risks associated with going about those actions in today's society. I mean, there is a risk. There is a big risk. There is a good likely chance that your woman is going to go left and right. That's just how society is. And I'm, I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying that when you look at history, you understand why, especially when you look at other countries, men have a certain level of dominance, a certain level of power, a certain level of control over their women in certain dynamics. Whereas here in America, things are out of whack really because the government or the power that's in, that provides the order has allowed things to be as chaotic as they are. Again, I'm not blaming anyone. We have to understand what the reality is. We have to accept what the reality is and learn how to maneuver as men. And fortunately, because of all this information as well as seeing the... The, 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 the outright, like... I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna use you for getting money or whatever the case may be. I think a lot of men, young and older, are starting to wake up and learning how to play the game in a better manner. But I say all that to say that no one's coming to rescue us. We have to learn these things on our own. We have to get to the place of understanding on our own. No one is coming to save us, especially as black men. Unfortunately, we don't have the, the inner fortitude to look out for one another to a higher degree. And our women are definitely not looking out, definitely definitely not looking out for us to that extent. Look around you, the whole system is set up for you to be in debt. The whole system is set up for you to be in poverty. The whole system is set up for you to live paycheck to paycheck and struggle. They don't want you rich. They don't want you full of investments. They don't want you financially secure. No one is coming to save you. We have to save ourselves until the most high comes back. I mean, look around, they're gonna they'll give the woman five hundred, a thousand dollars a month. Instead of hey, humble yourself, go back to your boyfriend, go back to your husband, go back to the father of your children. You ain't gotta be together, but at least work with him, take him off the system. 
Nah, it's not gonna happen. The pride, the ego, the government that's already putting things in order to protect these, <laughs> these classes of people who are independent, educated, has money and businesses and all this stuff, but then still needs handouts. Doesn't make sense to me. But the system is gonna allow, it's gonna protect it. And that's why just at the end of the day, we have to build our own community. We have to build our own group of like-minded men and women. But that's, I just wanna leave that at that. I gotta go follow up with this person across the street. Ain't nobody come to save you, so we gotta save ourselves. So we gotta be more disciplined on a daily basis. We gotta be more consistent. We gotta be more focused. Shoot, I spent the last, last night, I was up at three in the morning saying to myself, what sacrifices do I have to make to have my best year ever? What do I have to give to make my best year ever? Who do I have to get away from? What do I have to get away from? And we all have to do it if we wanna to get to a higher level because again, at the end of the day, nobody's coming to save us. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see y'all later, yo.